This is my video response to my last video, which was talking about a tragic story where a nurse accidentally gave the wrong drug, which led to the patient passing away. And, but for this video, I want to talk about something hopeful and optimistic, which is um, implementing a computerized system for healthcare. And I know you've heard of this before, some presidential candidates have talked about it, but what I didn't realize is that some hospitals that are, some leading hospitals are really going all out in a way that you and I may have never thought about before. And so hopefully this video, even if you've heard of the computerized system, hopefully this video will be of some, um, some help. And so the model I'm gonna share with you is the one I learned from my teachers on Thursday. Um, this is from the Brigham Women's Hospital in Boston. Now I think Beth Israel Medical Deacon Center was the first one to really come up with this. Uh, Dr. Warner Slack is one of the, the pioneers where it comes to co computers and healthcare. Um, but just to give you uh, a sampling of what's going on is that, so normally doctors handwrite um, prescriptions. And as you know, handwriting is really tough to read. It can lead to a lot of errors. And so to have a computerized system now where the doctors enter the order into the computer database is, has been very helpful. But in addition to that, so that's kind of like the basic thing where I think most people know. In addition to that, the computer database, it actually checks to see if the patient has drug allergies and it actually checks to see if the drug interacts with other drugs that the patient is taking and if the dosage is within a safe realm by age. So they're going to have a, a dosage that's set for children, for adults, for uh, grandparents and be able to alert the doctor if the doctor is making a wrong, uh, over-the-top um, dosage recommendation. Now that formula gets immediately electronically transferred to the pharmacist, which in this day and age of email and instant messenger, I know it seems kind of obvious that of course you would want to electronically transfer this information, but apparently in most hospitals that you and I go to, they don't actually do that. They hand it off. Like you get it by the, um, you either hand it off or tel telephone it or send it by fax. And if you've ever worked with a fax machine or tried to deliver something to your friend, you know how the errors can just pile up if you just rely on that. And so that, thankfully with a computerized system, you get rid of that, that step in error. The pharmacist's computer has another double check on the doctor, um, which is, you know, if any allergies, dosage safety, that's another double check. Um, the pharmacist has a triple check by manually checking to see if it makes sense. The technician now gets the pharmacist's information, puts it to a barcode, so the barcode is specific only to the patient. So if I am in the hospital and I need a medication, I get a barcode that's specific just for me. And that barcode has, is able to carry all the information about the drugs, my allergies, you know, when I need to take them, and that gets transferred to the nurse. The nurse, every nurse at Brigham Women's has this EMAR system, Electronic Medical Administration Record. It's a laptop computer system that alerts the nurse when to give the drug, alerts the nurse if the drug is um, being, if the nurse has forgot to give, uh, to give the drug, and it corresponds with the barcode. So now, after the nurse gets all this information that, okay, Jeff needs his antibiotic, um, the nurse has to go pick up the antibiotic, right? And so the nurse takes that barcode, goes to the drug cabinet area. Now all the cabinets are locked. It's impossible to open any of the cabinets. The only way to open the cabinet is if the nurse takes that barcode and scans it uh, accordingly. And only the cabinet that can read my barcode or only the cabinet that my barcode can signal will open. And within that cabinet, there are different layers of drawers. And only because you know how drugs are in different forms like tablets, capsules, intravenous liquid, powder, only the form and the exact type and the dosage that, that is for me can only be opened by the barcode, by my barcode, if I was a patient in the hospital. And so, as you can see, like, if, if, the, if, the, um, if this system was in place, then the tragic story that I shared with you in the, in the last video wouldn't have happened because you would just have so many different checks, like five, six, seven different checks. 
Um, and they've done, they've done studies published in the best journals showing that this actually works. It cuts down on errors, it saves lives, and, but um, you can probably guess something else that I'm missing, which is that the nurse actually has to take the drug out of the cabinet and put it onto the IV pump and program the pump. And that's, a, that's room for error. But what they're trying to do now in the future, and also right now, um, experimentally, is to try to get that pump to be computerized as well, and so you can further eliminate that kind of error. Um, so that was the computerized system that's going on in Brigham Women's. I know um, it actually probably doesn't sound quite as interesting as I initially hinted at, but for, for me, I was very, very excited about this because um, it really does save lives, and I thought it was urgent. I thought it was important for you guys to know about because most hospitals don't don't have this in place, and part of the reason is because the financial incentives aren't set up for the hospitals to to um, to make these changes. And so I thought, like, the more people who know about this, who are aware about this, um, maybe we can make a difference. And it's not a Democrat or Republican issue. This is a strictly technological, medical technology issue that, um, that hopefully will, can help out in the future. So thank you for listening and um, I'll try to keep you posted about anything else related to healthcare quality improvement in the future. Thanks.